Perfection can be the death of progress. You have to let go of all that and just say, well, this is the best it's going to be right now, and so here it is. Chris Smith is part of a collective of 25 musicians who challenged themselves to make 52 songs from 52 prompts across 52 weeks. I never felt like I was a songwriter. I didn't think it was going to be possible. Uh, and then as more I thought about it, I'm like, oh man, I'd love to give this a shot. In case you're not mathing along, that's creating and sharing one song a week for an entire year. Okay, there we go. Being fully immersed in creativity for a whole year, having to it's bust something out every day. week, like it's something you develop a relationship with to an audience of otherwise strangers. It's very vulnerable. I never once ever felt anything but just encouragement and love and just a, a real camaraderie that we're in this together. The group says 365 days of songwriting disarmed their artistic temperaments. It wouldn't finish songs because there would be a section that just wasn't quite right. Preventing the opportunity to pick apart their work forcing a sort of stream of creative consciousness. I noticed that perfectionism starting to melt away because you have to turn in crappy songs. There's no way to do songwriting that fast and actually come up with good ones every week. The artists say they now see the hand of the creator. The ghost in the machine, as journalist Ira Glass put it, is what makes music special. It's the humans parts, it's those aspects that are that are not on the grid, the acoustic guitars that are slightly out of tune, that are yeah, not in time perfectly, that grab your ear. After all, isn't that what making music, being human, is all about? Gathering over our imperfections, offering and being offered impressions, and improving. There's a serious community and connection that we've created. I had never met these people before, and it was just like we had known each other for well, a year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marcus Kokova, MTN News.